I'm very proud to be at the helm of this exceptionally gifted ensemble with the great respect to its own tradition, but at the same time with enthusiastic will to innovation and experiment. I spent seven years studying in the US and when I was in my last year, I was pursuing master's degree at the Juilliard School. A vacancy of a concert master position with the Czech Philharmonic opened and I was very fortunate to win this position and here I am. This is my fourth season with the orchestra. When I speak with people of my generation about Czech Philharmonic, everyone understands uh, Czech Philharmonic as one of the national symbols. It's wonderful with how many world-famous conductors this orchestra has cooperated, including uh, Václav Talich at its origins, Karel Ancherl afterwards, Václav Neumann, and many more. Well, the Czech Philharmonic does really maintain their sort of traditional sound. Partially it's because 99% of the orchestra is Czech and was brought up in Czech Republic and studied at the Czech schools. So I'm actually kind of a unique case because I, I was one of the very few members that studied outside of the Czech uh, Republic. But I would say the uniqueness, especially in the strings, comes in the warmth of their sound. and. In a way, the character we play, Czech music, and especially Czech music that's based on or is inspired by folk tunes, I would say this is our signature. It is very difficult to put in words such a complex matter as the sound of the orchestra. If you allow me a big simplification, so I would say that velvety and rich string sound combined with the bright and flexible woodwinds plus round, slightly vibrating sound of our brass instruments, this is probably the mixture which makes what we know as a typical sound of Czech Philharmonic. Czech music is of course our mother tongue and the best pieces of Czech repertoire, works by Smetana, Dvořák, Janáček, Martinu and many others, are addressing the music lovers all over the world. And I think that the reason those compositions are so powerful is their connection to the Czech folk music, Bohemian folk music. And the typical characters are rich melody, boisterous rhythm and wonderful orchestration. When you perform abroad, the audience thinks of you like um, someone who's really good, came to our city and we want to hear something new. Of course, audiences differ throughout the world. In Czech Republic, we're used to audience that's uh, very appreciative of music, but they sort of keep uh, more distant when it comes to the cheering after the concert. Whereas, for example, in the US, I love the audiences there too because they're so cheerful and after each piece they scream out bravos and stand up very quickly. The audience is, for me, the most important element in the concert because they are the reason of our activity. It's true that we are encountering different types of audience, sometimes more enthusiastic, sometimes less, but every time it is a sort of encounter with the friends and uh, we are very happy to bring music to our friends or everywhere.